Thursday, November 26, Locomotive 7A hauled a test trip to Lakeside, running as train number 918. This run was done to complete COVID safe procedures prior to reopening. Our first location was the world famous Mombolt Creek Trestle Bridge, with the next location being Selby Oil Road, approximately halfway between Belgrave and Menzies Creek. Following a 5km speed restriction, 7A races past the now one year old boom gates at School Road. Having completed safe working at Menzies Creek, the train departs for Lakeside.
The train is now climbing Emerald Bank and is seen crossing Pinox Road right near the summit of the grade. Having taken water at Emerald, 7A rolls down grade past the Nobilia's packing shed. The train would run around at Lakeside and then return to Belgrave in the early afternoon. Our first location on the up trip is approaching Menzies Creek. 7A climbs up to the top of the short grade from Belgrave General Road crossing, about a kilometre down the hill. On a clear day, the view behind the locomotive can be right down to Arthur's seat.
With driver David Clowes now in possession of the Menzies Creek to Belgrave staff, 7A and its train roll down grade over School Road Crossing, heading back to Belgrave. Our last shot of the test train is seen crossing the Mombok Creek Trestle Bridge once again in the early hours of the afternoon. On Friday, November 27, 7A hauled another pair of trains to Lakeside, running as 918 and 3346, with a crew change in the middle of the day. Our first location is the Mombok Creek Trestle Bridge, with the 1905 built NA in beautiful morning light. Our next location is Selby Oil Road, with the train going at a good pace as it heads towards School Road at Menzies Creek.
After safe working was completed at Menzies Creek, the train departs for Emerald, going past the view which looks down towards Arthur's seat. Having passed through Comatus, 7A is now climbing up the 130 grade towards Emerald, going through what is known to rail fans as Penix Cutting. After taking water at Emerald, which is now a requirement due to the construction work at Lakeside for the Discovery Centre, 7A rolls down the hill past the Nobilius packing shed, as seen in the previous day. After running around its train, 7A is now heading back to Belgrave, seen going around Superman Corner, which is between Nobilia Station and the packing shed where we were for the last scene on the down run. We will get to the reasoning behind this name later in the video.
The train is now about to cross Belgrave General Road, heading back towards Menzies Creek. Here it will do a, another staff exchange With safe working complete, 7A crosses School Road. Our last shot for the first test train of the day is at Selby, about two miles beyond Belgrave. This station has never been a regular stopping place on the Puffing Billy Railway, but is still a lovely scene. After a top up of water and engine requirements at Belgrave, the train once again crosses the Mombolt Creek Trestle Bridge at about 2.30pm, heading back to Blakeside for one, for one more test run prior to reopening in about 12 hours time. Our next shot is going around the S-Band just before the 5 km an hour speed restriction just beyond Selby Oil Road. This has been put in place due to track conditions in this short section.
Having cleared the speed restriction and gone past the landslide, the train crosses School Road, heading towards Menzies Creek. A crossing malfunction at Clematis at Edenmont Road meant that the train had to stop for about 20 minutes and after having manually set the crossing and creeped over the crossing before it was set back to off position, the train did a standing start on the bottom of the 1 in 30 grade towards Emerald. We were located on the first corner on this grade as 7A is working hard up the grade towards Emerald. Last shot of the down run is at Beaconsfield Road. This crossing was first installed in 1983 with teardrop bells and no boom gates. But during the COVID lockdown period, it was installed with new boom gates and a Western Cullen Hayes mechanical bell. Very unusual for the Puffing Billy Railway. Having run around its train at Lakeside, 7A returns to Belgrave and is seen going around the first of many horseshoe bends between Lakeside and Emerald. We have extended this shot to hear the train climb out of Lakeside past the camera and then continue on to Emerald.
After a short stop at Emerald, and then passing through Clematis, 7 8 is seen climbing towards Menzies Creek in the late afternoon light. The time is approximately 5.15pm. Because of COVID restrictions and spacing out of trains, the second shuttle, as it is not known as the is, is departing Lakes about half an hour later than usual at 445, which means a very late evening time. After safe working at Menzies Creek once again, the train rolls down the hill towards Belgrave for the last time before reopening in about, as I said before, eight hours to get with. <laughs> Following safe working at Menzies Creek, 7A has about 8 hours to go until it is needed to reopen the railway officially. It is seen rolling across School Road before rolling down a straight towards the landslide. Our last shot is once again at the Mombok Creek Trestle Bridge as the train crosses the bridge in late evening light.
the moment that practically everyone in the Dandenongs was waiting for had finally arrived. At 10am on the 28th of November 2020, 7A crossed the Mombok Creek Trestle Bridge triumphantly, covered in ferns and chalk riding, with a fully laden train bound for Lakeside. Putting on a bit of a show for the rail fans which were chasing the train that day, driver Simon Walker and fireman Matt Cantle passed the, passed the rail fans as they crossed School Road and approached Menzies Creek. Crowd of locals around the station, 7A departs for Emerald. At Penix Cutting, some oil was put onto the track by an unknown person and the locomotive slipped to a standstill. But luckily the skill of the driver and fireman got the train going again before a complete stall.
Our next shot is passing Nobelia siding after water was taken once again at Emerald. The last scene of the first down train to Lakeside since March 22, 2020 is at Superman Corner. The reasoning for the name of Superna Superman Corner was because of a telephone box and a mannequin being placed in one of the locals' backyard back in the early 2000s. The second train of the day, the 12.30 lunch train, was hauled by oil burning 14A. Our first scene is at the Mombok Creek Trestle Bridge. The second location is Selby Oil Road. The loud thumping noise you can hear is the is the burner in the oil getting too much air from the atmosphere.
is seen crossing School Road as it approaches Menzies Creek, where it will cross. Where it will cross 7A, which is coming back from Lakeside. shot of 14A is climbing the grade towards Emerald, this time with a lot of sand on the tracks from, this, from the previous train. Fourteen A approaches the Nobelius packing shed, and on the last shot for this run.
On the return run to Belgrave of 14A, we were located at Nobilia Station, about a mile on the upside of Lakeside. Next location for 14A is Edenmont Road. This was the crossing that failed the previous day. On the approach to Menzies Creek, 14A has to wait for the inner home signal to go to proceed so you could arrive into platform 1. Once safe working is completed, 7A departs for Lakeside.
7A is seen climbing towards Emerald on the last shot at Penix Road. Having crossed Beaconsfield Road, 7A rolls towards Nobelia's Packing Shed and Lakeside. On the return trip to Belgrave, we are located at Emerald. This crossing is one of the last to still have teardrop bells fitted. As the day nears an end, 7A approaches Menzies Creek.
to end a rather successful reopening day, 7A crosses the Mombok Creek Trestle Bridge. The railway is now reopened, pretty much fully, and as of December the 17th, when this video is uploaded to YouTube, the line from Lakeside to Jembrook is scheduled to reopen on January 9th. 7A, 14A, and now G42 are all in traffic, and Puffing Billy is well and truly back on track. <laughs> 